Hi there, welcome to the Bradby Young channel. Ever felt like you needed a pin cushion? Keep all your pins together. And a good place for that to be will be on your wrist. So you know exactly where it is, you're not going to lose it. So I suppose all you really need would be some scraps of material, a bit of filling, um, something to put in it, and something to make a wrist strap out of. So if you've got all them, supposedly you can make a pin cushion. So that's what I'm going to have a go at doing. Okay, so I've got some materials and parts, so I've got some material that I'm going to use. Now, I've done this so I have like a, um, I can describe it, it's like an inner pillow. So I've got some material to make that. I have tried to mark it up, I can't really see that. You can see, I've marked that out. And I've got another piece for going round the, around that. And I've got a scrunchie, which I'm going to use for the wrist strap. So it's going to go round it. We'll get there, we'll see. And then I've got some filling, which I got out of an old cushion. I'll just get the old cushion. This old thing. Now, when you look at this, you think, ooh, it's a bit bit ropey, bit rough looking, but actually it's not too bad, it's just been on the sofa for a long time now. Some of this is a bit dodgy because, you know, it's gone quite flat, but if you get in underneath that, I found that the, the stuff underneath I can pull out and it's still quite good, it's still, you know, it's still usable, fluff it out quite well and will make nice nice padding for it. So that's what I'm using. Of course I could make lots of pin cushions with this because it's a big um, big old cushion. So that's brilliant. So that's my material. So I suppose the first thing to do is to uh, cut out the, the part that's going to be of the pillow. Okay so I need to cut this out. So first of all I'm going to get some scissors. Let's sharp pair of scissors. So I've, so I've drawn this out I don't know if you can see that, I've got a sort of, it's not a rectangle, it's got some shape to it, so I, know, I just thought it would work better if I put some shape in it. I um, don't know if it really will, so just get and cut it out and see what we end up with, really. I mean, once I've sewn it up, obviously it'll have, it'll form a bit of shape, so that shape hopefully will make it sit better when I actually put it onto the wrist strap, hopefully, but um, I suppose there's no guarantees on it. I've um, not really done one of these before, so making a pin cushion for your wrist. I'm nearly there. Um, there we go. So we end up with that sort of shape. And hopefully that'll work just fine for me. So I better sew that up and then I can fill it with some stuffing. Okay, so I'm gonna sew this up and I'm gonna do three sides and leave one end open so I can fill it. So let's just get on with that, I suppose. Uh, I only wanna do a small um, seam allowance, doesn't need to be huge. And uh, on we go. So I've got my pocket made, so I'm just going to turn this inside out and then I can fill it with some stuffing. So that'll be a simple task. I've got a little pencil, I tend to use a pencil to get corners out and then gonna try and fill it with this stuff and I think well I'll see how much I can get in there. I want it quite well packed because um when I stick the pins in it I want them to, to sort of stay in there. So a pin cushion gotta be quite well stuffed really. Just keep on stuffing it in until I get to about what I want. Look at that, all that stuffing has gone in there. I still feel like I could probably 
fit a little bit more in there. Still got quite a bit of space. So back to the pillow cushion. And just pull a bit more from the innards of this thing. Uh, yeah, that, that bit looks nice enough. Drop that in there. In it goes. And then, and then I've got to try and sew this end up. So, I mean, if I try and lip it over, so I've got a nice lip like that, grab a pin. I can pin it shut and then I'm just going to have to hand stitch the end of this on so I'll get and do that and um, and then see where we can take it from there. Okay so I've um, stitched the end of this so now I need to just wrap it round, be, wrap this round the, the, like, the little pillow that I've made. Um, I found doing this easier because, I mean, you can just sort of like get your filling and try and hold it in there, but it tends to want to spread out everywhere. So I decided putting it in its own little pillow and then it gives it a second, a second layer. And if I actually, with the two layers like that, if I take a couple of pins and see how they go in, so they're going quite well. They, 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 they go in and, and they hold. So that's nice. A nice cushion so that's that's going to work I think so let's get this wrapped up and see if we can get it all together right so I'm gonna try and wrap this up in in this piece so let's just pull this over I'm trying to get it quite tight as well I'm going to turn this edge so I don't have a um, the frame you know the the edge on there and just get it over nicely like that I suppose so it's nicely turned over and I'm just going to and get it straight, get it sort of even, and I'm just going to put a few stitches in here just to hold it in place uh, while I then try to get it round, round the actual strap, the band that I'm going to use to, to make the strap. But I just want to hold this in place so it doesn't go anywhere then I won't have any problems with it springing open on me. Because the last thing you need is to be halfway through trying to put it on and then it just bounces open again. So I'm just going to put a few stitches in. And this won't be seen because this will be on the underside. So you won't, I won't see this bit. So I'm not fussed about how neat it is. just needs to be good enough to... Um, hold it all in position I think that'll be enough just um, tie it off stitch back through to hide the thread so there we go and I've just stitched it up so now I can actually try and squish this a bit and get this through. So now here's the difficult part. Um, now you can use a metal, um, you know, like a bangle type thing that would go on there. Um, and that would work very well. So, so what I need to do is try and get this over and wrapped round this bit of strap and then bring this bit over, pulling it sort of tight so I get a nice sort of tight pad and then I'm going to tuck that under and then this is where it gets a bit tricky because now I've got to stitch this edge down so that's what I'll get on with now, stitch this down so it holds it all in place but it's like how, how tight do I want this, it's like pulling it to to the tightness to to where I want it to be 
depending on how thick I want this pad to be. So that that's what I'm trying to do. It's sort of like just a bit fiddly, sort of like fiddling with it until you get it to to what you want, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to try stitching it up at that. So just going to put a pin in there if I can. There we go, and then. I'm going to stitch along here and um, hopefully it won't take too long because it will be by hand and then I can um, hopefully tidy up the edges. Okay so I've been stitching this up and um, I've started coming around this side, this is the end here as well. Now because I've I've used a scrunchie which is a you know, hairband because um, I've got long hair so I have hairbands. Um, if you don't you can maybe have some just some elastic or you can use uh, make your own sort of scrunchie with elastic and a bit of material and I'm just coming round I was just wondering whether or not I should go through this or, or not and I think yeah I mean it's easy enough to undo so I can just continue round here and um, just sort of try and stitch in the the scrunch as well and just make sure it's all nice and neat it doesn't have to be you know I've done quite wide stitches on this it doesn't have to be really um, close stitching just want to be able to have it so that it all just holds together nicely um, so I'm just going to continue and basically come round here and then obviously I need to do this side as well to, to sew up this side so I'll get on and do that which will take a little while I suppose um, but then um, hopefully it'll be pretty much um, done with so there you go wrist pin cushion it's on a strap there so I mean hopefully there's enough in there so I can easily get it on and off and we've got this sort of squarish cushion pins go into it and needles go into it really quite well so you know you're not gonna have any problems with losing stuff and I say it's got a bit of stretch but hopefully it's tight enough it's not going to move around so I can use it when I'm actually sewing um, yeah <laughs> nice um, wrist pin cushion so there's the end project, all done. Um, goes on the wrist, quite simple, you know. And I can I can move it up my arm wherever I want. I don't have to have it right down the bottom. Hopefully, there's enough stretch in there. It goes on easy, but holds on firm enough that it's it's going to stay where I want it. Which is brilliant. Look at that. I suppose you could say it was a um, quick and easy um, little project, but it wasn't quite so quick actually probably taking about half a day to do really or more uh, and it's not always so simple especially when you're trying to get it to, to sit right and to, to get the right shape um, and then you've got to get this on and, and it just takes longer than you think it's going to but um, you know as a as an amateur um, enthusiast for the um, for sewing um, it, you know a beginner really um, it's taken me longer than, than I might have thought it would but I suppose if you're more experienced you probably get through it quite quickly um, Another confession is that this isn't even my design. Um, this is actually uh, a design that I saw by uh, another lovely young lady called Evelyn Wood. She's got a, a YouTube channel. I'll try and put a, a link down to uh, to her channel. Uh, it was her design that inspired me to do to do this uh, this wrist um, pin cushion like this. And uh, it, it isn't the first one I did neither, really, because actually I did actually start off with uh, with this one. And, which is a lie as well because I actually started off with this one <laughs> which you can see is, is more like a block um, remnant material from this and I had a bit of board which is like this and I cut out a little a little piece um, to make a backing so it would have a harder backing um, but it didn't really work out well for putting a strap on so I just made it as a little block that I can have on the um, on like by the sewing machine or, or by the on the cutting desk or my cutting top uh, but yeah, this one, this one actually got a, a bangle on it. Um, the, uh, you know, um, the design was that you could use a wider bangle so it'd sit better on the wrist. But this is all I had. But it, you know, it does sort of work. It does what it's meant to. Stays on the wrist. Um, and then of course I've got the one I've just made with a scrunchie. I don't know. So there we go. Lots of pin cushions now. I've got plenty of them. Not going to go short having pin cushions. I quite enjoyed doing that and hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching me uh, painstakingly pin that all up together. So hopefully I will join you in the next video.